Huh? I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. Well, then it's just as I thought. While you're asleep, our connection is much stronger. You wield your magic with ever more confidence. Splendid. As I mentioned previously, the archetype grows and develops anew through encounters with others. Look for those bearing the nobility and presence of the heroes and kings of old. More virtuous than the weight of any crown or medal is the burden you place on your own path forward. The more comrades and supporters who stand beside you, the more your power will deepen as you soar to new heights. One day, the people join hands and seize the freedom to decide their own future with their own power just as you do. That is my ideal world. Hold on. What do you mean, supporters? We're trying to keep out of the public eye here. I mentioned before, did I not? There is no hero without allies. Only a single voice in opposition. In other words, even archetypes have their own strengths and weaknesses. They'll be of little use if used thoughtlessly. Life and death are seconds apart on the battlefield. Be attentive, mindful, and strategic. Only then can you emerge victorious. When you feel unsure how to proceed, I recommend you stop, assess your surroundings, and think. The smallest observation is often our greatest inspiration. Well, it's almost dawn. I will be watching with great anticipation. Until we meet again. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Four days remain. Good. Let's, hmm. Let's go. Great. Let's move out. Escaping the dragon's threat in the Nord Mines, the party shakes their pursuers amidst the discovery of great powers. To make up for lost time, they risk hiring a coach to secret them the rest of the way to the capital. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain. Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Louise salads, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who sit on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort. Sitting there in the cart, never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange, how fast life can change. We both did well to make it out. Yes, we certainly did. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. Almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. 
But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now, and stay sharp. Milady, Welcome back, and thank you for making the trip. After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the King's death. The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. It is a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, flags of mourning fluttering in the wind, the magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart. Fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. That way it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row. The hushed honeybee in. We'll talk details once we're there. Here we go. That's terribly unfair. All right, then. Tosses, King. I just want some coin. Mm. Got it. Do you need something? looks pretty rough. What is it? Watch out for pickpockets. Oh. back. Papa, welcome home. 
Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. These are, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabian. This inn is my business and my home. Manners, Maria. Um, welcome. Hey, I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, could you handle that? Yes, right away. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I know I've already asked so much of you, but... Would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Of course. It wouldn't be the honeybee without her. Now, as for the rest of you, after braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, spicy. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, pipe down and eat, boy. That was delicious, especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. Red grass roasted bido. Bird meat. One of her hometown specialities. <sighs> She's risked a lot to shelter me and to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed, but are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways. But it seems none could avail themselves to us. Which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral. In broad daylight. That's insane. It's risky, to be sure, but we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. I'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location. All I need is an opening. And don't rely on your fancy powers for this, all right? It'll attract too much attention. Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. This is all I need. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No, you're just getting away. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill, if not a clean one. It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. All right. Not much of a choice, I suppose. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? Got to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing. And best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, 
though we've all been short on time to ourselves. But I'd feel bad leaving Marie all alone. Shall we go check in on her? At least? Look at that. Did you need something? I can't sleep. You can't relax. Your job must be hard. Oh, I just remembered. Papa said you have a strange book, and that I should ask to see it. You like books, huh? Well, I haven't ever seen one before, so I was wondering what they're like. Wanna read it together? Really? Oh, but I still have work to do. Don't worry, Maria. I can handle this crowd. You have fun reading upstairs. Really? Yes. You did a very good job today. Let's read then. There's so many pictures. Are all books like this? Miss Fabienne taught me how to read a little. She said it helps with keeping the inn running. Do you help out every day? Mm-hmm. It's lots and lots of work, but it's fun too. Plus, I like when people say I'm clever, so I've got to work really, really hard. Papa always says not to go into his room, so I wait for him a lot. I'm good at waiting. Strong girl, Maria. I know Papa's always busy with work, but I'm happy when he comes home. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Will you play with me again sometime? Then it's a promise! You're helping Papa with his job, aren't you? So... Be safe. I've heard his job can be really dangerous. <laughs> the pure-hearted maiden, Maria. Within her dwells the virtue of the healer. Nurture thy bond with her and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Thank you. I wonder if Papa will stay for longer this time. It'd be sad if he had to leave right away. I'm sure it'll work out. Okay. I think I'll try to read a little bit more, and then I'll go find Miss Fabia and go to bed. All right. I'll try to read this part now. Um... In this...
country be in and the something king hears the voices of the city and protects their way of life um what's this say society's purpose is to protect its citizens this is a basic principle of this utopia all are equal all live in safety and the rich and poor are as one with no gaps no conflict all are friends deserving of help basically it's a place where there's no fighting and everyone always gets along wow where is this place no one gets left alone there right i wish i could go can i read a little more probably not going to bed anytime soon As dawn breaks so begins the procession to the grand cathedral The king's casket has left the castle The procession will take the main streets to its destination the grand cathedral I'll have you blend in with the guards posted there On my mark You'll create a distraction. Draw Luis's attention. What, with the soldiers? But our uniforms are... I had Fabienne patch them up. In the state they were in? <laughs> that must have taken all night. Let me see. Thanks for keeping Maria company yesterday. I'd appreciate if it wasn't the last time. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I appreciate it. The girl just has trouble making friends, is all. We're going to split up as soon as we leave. At the Grand Cathedral, we'll pose as guards to cause a commotion. I leave the rest to you. I'll see to everything here. Don't worry. Papa. I'll be back tonight. Be a good girl while I'm gone, eh? Hmm. <sighs> We can read a little more from my book, all right? Really? Once we're back, let's all have dinner together. Yes, please. Be careful. See you soon. Once it's over, we'll regroup back here at night. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. Right then. Let's get ourselves ready, then head for the Grand Cathedral. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs>
Because you see... This one's important. Please. Yeah. Research. <laughs> How delightful. Regards. Good of you to come. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Still getting stronger. All right. All right. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. A new ability. Sod off. You've come at a good time. Hmm. Miss your chance to sell now. Isn't that... <sighs> Looking to sell, are you? Hello there. Ooh. 
here. Got it? All right. <laughs> Lots of lords and nobles. Some generals, too. All the big names are here. Mm -hmm. Can you see Grius? him out. Although I don't see Luis around. Oh, uh, Look there! The call! What is this? Isn't that the flower straight from the king's garden? And a common-blooded man bearing them to a funeral? Does the man know no shame? That's tantamount to declaring himself royalty! You barbarian! Your fool of a king is dead! <sighs> Disillusioned by vain aristocrats and simpering clergy, he withered and died under his own weakness. The audacity! How can he say that? This is madness! At the king's own funeral! Lord Louis speaks true! The nobles are to blame! Men are guilty! But open your eyes, and you will see the crisis in our nation. I will show you truth! The truth of reality! been sheltered, blinded by walls of stone. Behold a human corpse. They are no mere rumor. They lurk and nest across the very land you call home. A fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. How long before we're overrun? You can only blame your king's weakness, and oh. thus... Who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! How dare you, scoundrel! Your words verge on treason! Against what ruler, Blue Blood? The dead cannot be betrayed. <sighs> Let your late king's soul bear witness! Let Louis Squeerburn be named the true and rightful ruler of Ucronia! <sighs> What do we? What? What's happening? Such power. It can't be. The palace.
and I shall provide. Did he just say he Thlodius the fifth? At face, it can't be. His Majesty, the King. How? Is it he was dead. Why? Be silent. Let him say his peace. Heed me, O Kingless. Time is finite before my soul departs this benighted world. In four moons of life past death, there shall come a reckoning, a day of the hero. Upon that day, whosoever hath truly earned the greatest faith of the citizenry shall ascend to throne and crown by right of kings. By right of kings? The faith of the citizenry? Truly. From the lofty heaven shall my unfading soul look down upon thee, and from the whispered hopes of thine anxious hearts shall those to whom thine allegiances lie be laid bare. Ah! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I hear thy voices ring out in clarion truth. Here and now witness the faces of those most desired to become king. It's Forden. Count Louise! Count Louise is there too! They're all candidates. Mm. Ha! What glorious spectacle! The mantle of king is mine by right and providence. You go too far, Luis. We gather to mourn his majesty, and you desecrate it. You would befoul the throne, blackguard. <laughs> so be it. Shall we test that? Good people, is Forden truly fit to be king? Or shall you cast off the shackles of blind faith? We need not be chained to birth or tribe. In my world, we are a people equal and united. I shall be your shield from the human menace. Together, peace is within our grasp. When my village burned, the church did nothing. There's no way we can fight those what? monsters alone. And those of us what? in bonds, will we too be protected? Don't be fooled. He's not the man you think he is. Hey, look. Come, Luis. He's catching up to Borden. Can the giant thing really see what we're thinking? Luis, you've led the people's hearts astray. No future exists without the power to eliminate the human crisis. Those who stand at my side, who oppose the powers that be, my protection is yours. Or refuse my hand and perish. I will lead us over your corpses. You mean, just as you killed the king? A country is heavier than a crown, and he could not bear it. Retribution passed due. You vile! He cares nothing for the blood on his hands. Damn you, Luis! You think you truly deserve the crown? You doom us all! I won't stand for it! Hey, who are you? Silence him! A Kingslayer deserves only death! A threat! Hey! Yes, good! You need to go too. Where's Grius? I shall not suffer the defiance of my people's will. In my name art thou punished. Punished? Impressive. One of the royal family's dog. Rather poetic, I suppose. See how he is rewarded for your loyalty. Oh. 
I warned you, this is the price of the fight. Though I hadn't expected the king's own magic on my side. So be it. Rally behind me. I will shield you from injustice. Rise above birth and circumstance, for they mean nothing! Count Luis is our only hope! What choice do we have? He'll kill any against oh God. Not much of a choice. Upon the day of the hero, whosoever has most earned my people's faith shall ascend upon my throne to rule. According to my judgment, be thou criminal, pauper, or noble, thy claim is decided not by stature or tribe. I shall bear witness. From this heavenly seat I am nigh omnipotent. Look to the faces carved upon this rock, and see thou the faces of the Chosen. I shall brook no sabotage or obstruction of this trial. Let all hear me and obey! The sun sets on old fossils. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luisa's king. Stand down! Damned meddlers. So your wish is to die, is it? Your bones will be monuments to Lord Luisa's glory! Ah, but Lord Luis has sent me here on an important errand. What errand? It seems I'll need considerable time to accumulate the magla. Until it's done, however, I'm afraid I'll have to borrow the cathedral. The day the King's morning ends will become the Day of Calamity. If you mean to interfere, then die. Strong. The souls of the dead do not return. He manipulates them as puppets with foul magic. Brace yourselves, everyone. <sighs> Focus! Sorry about that. I'll be alright. Here they come! Brace yourselves! Where'd that man go? Did he take soldiers into the cathedral? 
There should be a mausoleum nearby. Could you take his body there? Yes, right away. Take care with him, please. He was a dear friend. He gave his all for the king. For the royal bloodline. The least he deserves is dignity and death. My name is Hulkenberg. I have a question for you. That power you wield, it is not something they teach in the army. You are no ordinary soldier. And you? You're clearly more than a guard, Captain. I am a knight in the Crown's service. Commanding the guard is not my station's duty, but... A knight? And you pretend at soldiery. But that matter can wait. Alsace seemed to know you. Who is Alsace? We'll have time for debate after we apprehend that mage. He's after the Royal Scepter, I'm sure of it. The Royal Scepter? Please, someone, help! Please help. I've still got family inside. Did he trap civilians in the cathedral? Yes, my family and more. I don't envy their chances if he finds them helpless. I am honor bound as a knight to answer that plea. I would ask your aid as well, if you might give it. Does it not tarnish the royal knights to enlist the aid of strangers? I haven't the luxury of refusing able fighters. If I turn back here, I'd never be able to face Grius. Any objections, my friend? None that would stop you, I expect. Do you know me so well already? Let's just watch out for those accursed skeletons. I'd let you. Let's twist 
through. That worked like a charm. Keep the pressure on. Thesaurus. Nice. No bad. Like it could be useful. like in the abandoned mines. What was that sound? Brace yourselves. It's collapsing. Damn it. 
it. Now how are we supposed to get inside? We'll not be getting in this way. That collapse was no accident. He means to hold our advance. Best to seek another way. And I have a plan to do it. The plan's more than I have. Right. Lead the way. Before we go any further, I would have my answers. We must speak of the man Luis executed. So, were you a friend to Grius? Yes. I knew him as Alces. Arvin Alces. He'd been engaged as a tutor to his royal highness, teaching him swordsmanship at the king's behest. I wouldn't have expected you to know him. Yes. Well, it was back when I myself was serving as one of his highness's personal guards. You're a personal guard for the prince. I was. Now he is lost to me. Which brings me to the heart of my concern. I hope you can give me the answer I seek. Why were you trying to kill Luis? Well... Revenge. The assassination is for his highness. To avenge his death. Revenge? Not just for the prince. Luis killed the king as well. Alsace was a calculating man. Callous, where softer hearts falter. He was not some wild-eyed revolutionary. Tri Why would such a man sacrifice all in the name of revenge? Who knows? Is that all you wanted to know, then? If nothing else, you were friends of Alsace. Once more, I would humbly request your blades at my side. I'd think you'd find surer allies among the Guard. You saw for yourself their failings today. A legion may be easily divided. A squad of few elites, however, moves as one. I'll have us into the Grand Cathedral. I know the way. Will you assist me? Naturally. How about you? Of course. Right. Not much point in asking, really. at the king's funeral. Our, our country's doomed, isn't it? Pretty chaotic here. With good reason. I was there, and even I struggled to grasp the situation. <sighs> oh, you're back. Have you seen Maria? Maria? She's missing. She heard the commotion and ran off. She can't have gotten far. Oi, Fabienne! We found Maria! Maria! Don't move her. She suffered a blow to the head. She must have been caught in the wave of people fleeing. Poor girl. She's unconscious, but I don't believe it's life-threatening. Ah, oh, but... He'll... He'll be along soon, won't he? He's... I'm sorry. I was... prepared for the worst, but... Oh. Damn it. Fabienne is taking care of Maria. Sounds like she'll have to stay put and rest for a while. Are there people still left inside? Most of the soldiers sent in to help haven't returned. 
I expect Luis's forces made short work of them. No one's sure if that human's corpse is safe either, so it's just been left to rot. Underground, there is a mausoleum where the dead are interred. It opens to the Grand Cathedral on the other side. And we can trust your word, can we? How do we even get into this mausoleum? There's a gate just beside the recruitment center. We'll make our way in from there. Right, let's hurry. Doesn't it seem like... Let's hurry! Onward! <sighs> the door strange as he is that <laughs> pale fellow's magic works good for rooting out the rats that blasted mage set a trap not surprising we knew he was expecting us <laughs> and you still fell for it at least you'll be in good company what? I can't be no way. <sighs> Alces. of my failure then. The prince, for having lost him, you too would abandon me. Why did you leave me alone in the dark when you escaped with his highness? I have sought him for so many years to no avail. And now, I... <laughs> the one to send me to him now. Get up! Fight! I'm sorry. 
Please forgive me. No! You have it wrong! <laughs> The prince is alive! Hey! He's right! We do hunt Luis, but not for revenge! We mean to lift the prince's curse! <gasps> is that true? His highness is... still... Yes, he lives. So you have to keep fighting! <sighs> you mean... If that's true, then I... O oh, Lodestar, who wanders in solemn duty, O oh, thou anguished traveler, thy long stagnant stance hath finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Now my new calling, transcending all oaths, I choose life of my own will! Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the King's Road. Now, awaken. My name is Aislin Pacelli Majal Hulkenberg. I am knight, I am commander, and last of the Honor Guard! Once more, I take up arms in my liege's name! Alces, I will see you freed. For the liege I am sworn to, in his royal name, with this power, I shall open the way! Alces, it is almost finished. I'm sensing a huge surge of power. Hang on, it almost seems like... the two archetypes are resonating with each other. you ask, friend. I swear it. Double do. I feel stronger. Nice. I feel stronger already. I continue to grow. Oh, you found new powers. A new power to wield. Rest now, Alces. We will protect Maria and his royal highness. Oh, isn't this crystal just like what we saw in the abandoned mine? 
Come on. Let's just destroy it. First he wakes the dead, and now this bizarre object. This man is dangerous and must be stopped. You said you were a royal knight, didn't you? Were you there, on the night the prince was attacked? Yes, though I was the least among the order then. We saw his highness afflicted with a horrific curse. But soon after, he mysteriously vanished. Arceus was one of his highness's closest confidants when he disappeared. I'd wondered if they were both lost to us. But I could see it when we told you the truth. You believed the prince was alive, didn't you? I'd left my post to wander the land. A search party, at least in intent. News of the king's demise brought me back. Thence, we met. Now, onward. Tis nothing. Let us go. Don't tis nothing me. You took a hard hit early on. Let's head back for now. But... <sighs> We've come this far, so he'll be looking to buy time. It's just as you advised before. We can't rush in if we're to see this through. What say you? We can withdraw for now, right? Yes. We should head back. I'll trust your judgment. Homeward, then. Ah, you're just in time. Maria's awake. She's not hurt too badly, but she's locked up in her room and won't come out. I told her that her father wouldn't be coming home. So she knows. Oh, I should say, I found a note in his belongings. Meant for you all, I'm sure. It said, if there's anything left that could serve you, take it. I left his belongings in his room, so you're free to have a look. Now that you're here, I'll go check on her one more time. Try to rest, and I'll be back shortly. Damn you, Louise. Can I assume you're still dedicated to the mission? Mission? Killing Louise to lift the Prince's curse. We've lost a lot already. We can't afford to give up after one failure. Don't worry. I've no intention of giving up now. What do you think? Are you going after Luis? Of course I am. Yes. Someone has to bring the bastard to justice. You saw what would happen under his rule. We can't just let him doom this country. Thus do you seek Luis's death. Knowing the truth, may I join your cause? I heard of your trials at the fort, and considering all I've seen and heard, Luis clearly aims to seize the throne. Allow me to lend my blade. Even if we can put the man down, if we can't save the heir to the throne, it would be all for naught. Until the day, His Highness, the Prince's life is saved. I will fight through all obstacles. We'd be happy to have you. But are you sure? It is but another leg on my own long journey, and now I may travel in good company. What say you? 
We'd welcome you, gladly. Truly. Thank you. I shall strive to protect you as you saved me. Seems a bit redundant to say after all you've done for us, but we're glad to have you. Leave it to me. Then let us be bound in both purpose and trust. My life is your shield, and my blade is your strength. The steadfast vassal, Hulkenberg. Within her dwells the virtue of the night. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may... I would stake my very life upon it. Oh! Now that she's part of the team, we ought to show her. Here. This is the prince. He's been asleep for a long, long time. <sighs> His royal highness. He's stable. But unless we can do something about that curse, he's finished. That mage could be the key to this. I couldn't guess what he aims to accomplish, but if we can capture him, he could lead us straight to Luis. Doubtless he seeks the royal scepter. Tis enshrined in a chamber in the cathedral under a powerful warding seal. Such magic would likely take days of concentration to dispel, even with powers to do so. You figured that's why he said we've got until the morning period ends? If it's true, we still have some days until the morning ends. Leaves us a little time to spare. But what did he mean when he told us to wait for the day of calamity? Just an op- He can tell us himself at the end of a sword. The innkeeper's given her blessing, so we'll use this place as our headquarters for now. Yeah, probably for the best. It's already gotten late today, so let's reconvene here tomorrow. Do you feel responsible for Grius and Maria? make much of a guide, do I? I can't even get proper directions. God, I wish I wasn't so useless. Now you're the one overthinking things. You're right. This isn't like me, is it? Sorry. My grief is getting better of me. I've got to shape up. Grius gave his life for that mission. We can't let him down. Let's figure it out as a team, alright? I'll do whatever I can. Gotta focus. Well, we should get some rest tonight in preparation for tomorrow.
let's rest. 